herself in uh, to police over the weekend. That's right. But she's accused of sending a threat to Harford County Community Colleges using her ex's email. WMER 2 News Jeff Hager was on the scene today when she was in court today. A woman scorned. Police say Amara Leonard set up her ex boyfriend hacking into his email account to set him up for an arrest on a charge of threat of mass violence. A cryptic threat directed in an email to a career advisor at Harford Community College prompted police to evacuate students on campus on Friday. But within hours, detectives learned 22 year old Amara Mallory Leonard had posed as a former student who had dumped her as a girlfriend back in August. Well, in today's world, you're, you're not shocked by anything, sadly. You know, it, it's just you have to be cautious. Everywhere you go, you're always on edge. Um, so, no, I, I, I was sad. According to court records, the email depicted the author as a man who appeared to be suicidal and claimed he was coming back to Harford with a couple of pipe bombs in tow. The email also suggested the man had always been labeled as a school shooter kid. And the time had come to prove all the accusations true. Ultimately, investigators tracked down the former student and learned his ex-girlfriend had been harassing him for months, emailing him from fictitious accounts, and she knew his email password from the time when they were dating. They tracked the email back to an address at Leonard's family home in Fairfax, Virginia, and she has since turned herself in over the weekend. And I really think there has to be accountability when people commit crimes or when keep people make bad decisions. They have to be accountable for what happens. Ultimately, the judge granted bail to Leonard, $20,000, and she would have to post 10% to gain her release, in large part because she suffers from mental illness. They said she had ADHD, autism, and also had Asperger's. Reporting in Harford County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.